Welcome to the lounge everyone, my name is Toby Rydell and in today's video we will talk about music and the connections and memories we have with it. I don't know about you, but when I turn on the radio these days, I'm actually quite frustrated. I don't know many of those songs that are played. Um, I don't even quite know the artists anymore. I mean, there are some artists that are just around for decades, but so many new artists that I don't know and feel like I don't share any connections with them and especially their music. Probably you don't like listening to the radio either that much. Or you just listen to it when you're in the in a car or at work, when you're practically doing something else and just want to have something on in the background. I mean, then radio can be okay, I guess. But when I think about the music from 10 or 10 to 15 years ago, yes, guys, we are that old, sorry. That was the good stuff. That was great music back then. When I just name a few artists from back then, like James Blunt, The Last Good Night, and Daniel Pauter, you might not even know what their most famous or one of their fav famous songs even was until James Blunt. You're beautiful, you're beautiful, it's true. The Last Good Night. Pictures of you, pictures of me. Or Daniel Pauter. Cause you had a bad day, you're taking one down, you sing a sad song just to turn it around. Everyone knows those, even though you might not recall the artists, but the tracks and the songs stick with you. These songs and so many more songs alike mean a lot to me and they probably mean a lot to you because I always ask myself, where was I at that time? I was probably in school back then. How old was I even? What were, what were I thinking at that time? Or who was my best friend at that time? There are so many connections and feelings attached to those to this music and, and some specific songs but probably that music back then wasn't objectively good. In fact you could argue that those songs were quite simple even. I mean they should always be easy to follow and should be stuck in your head. Catchy tunes. But did you know that most of those songs back then consisted only of four chords. So you can pick almost any song you want and then you could turn it into... No. Um, so so if, you, if you transpose something into... I mean if you pick, just picked a random song and you know what? I will just show you. George, I need another mic. Alright, for clarification, when I say a chord I mean something like this. A chord consists of three tones, with the lowest one being the main one. This one is a D, so we call it D major. And we have four of those. And everyone who knows a little bit about music knows four of those chords is not a lot. It's not a lot. And what I'm gonna play for you consists of exactly four chords. It's a D major, it's an A major, it's a B minor and a G major. I would say everyone could learn those four chords in about 10 to 15 minutes and play all the great tunes that are on the radio. So this song is called Four Chords. How fitting. My life is brilliant My love is pure I saw an angel Of that I'm sure People kill and people dying Children hurt, you hear them crying Can you practice what you preach? Can you turn the other cheek? Forever young I wanna be forever young 
I came in like a wrecking ball I never hit so hard in love All I wanted was to I won't hesitate No more, no more It cannot wait I'm yours, lipstick stains On the front lobe of my left side brains I know I couldn't forget you If I could, then I would I'll go wherever you will And can you feel the love Nobody wants to see us together But it don't matter, no Cause I got country roads Take me home To the place I belong I'm your biggest fan I follow you until you love me Papa With or without you Pictures of you Pictures of me Hung upon your wall For the world to see And she will be loved Yeah, she will be loved When I find myself in times of trouble Mother Mary comes to me no woman, no cry, do you know it's worth fighting for? When it's not worth dying for? Come on, come on, come on, come on, I got a heart as loud as lions, so I let your voice be tame. Come on, Bobby, let's go party. Okay, you, you got the idea. That's about it. That's four chords. And that was a lot of fun. And I share a lot of connections and, and moments with many of those songs. And that's why I just uh, love many of those. And four chords. And it's that easy. Only four chords. As you could see, there is not all too much behind those great tunes played on the radio. And that we all remember and can, can sing along to. A little sorry to all the musical experts out there. There is some more musical theory going on in the background, but for today, we are at an end. I certainly had a lot of fun sharing this topic with you and would love to hear in the comments below if you liked this a little bit different topic today. And with that being said, my name is Tobi Radell and I will see you again next time here in my lounge. <laughs>